because boxing is is about entertainment like when you when you look at traditional sports basketball football soccer baseball what, what have you when it's treated like an actual sport a competition where the best go against the best what happens is you create an environment in which you have to evolve or die that's just how it goes you have to keep growing and keep getting better or you get cut right and then you you find yourself having to play overseas or maybe you just need to reconsider playing all together and do something else with your time but you have to continue to be the best version of yourself you can't you know be what you were last year and expect to win a championship just because maybe of who you were last year and the fact that you won a championship last year that's not how things work in traditional sports you're going to have teams that were champions last year and may look like shit the next year they're they're going to lose however because boxing is being treated as an entertainment business you have these fighters getting fluffed up and what i told gems is you know anybody who, who pays attention to crypto that fighters are getting treated like crypto pump and dumps you know you, you fluff them up you make it seem like they're the best or the greatest and so on and so forth right you really try to put all eyes and i'll try to put as much money into them as you can and then when it's time for them to finally step up in competition against someone that probably will take them out that's where you cash out right and then because they don't they're not used to competing actual rawness of competition and having to evolve having to get better not being stagnant taking your losses typically careers tend to fall off off of one loss these guys can have 20 30 wins and it doesn't matter it's the weirdest shit i look at guys records some of these fighters people talk about like oh he's a bum oh she's a bum you go look at the record they're like what like 35 or 40 wins with like one to five losses that shit don't even make any sense so as long as boxing is about entertainment not about having people go against the most elite level competition the sport's never going to evolve because you don't get to see what does and doesn't work against those that are of the highest level of skill so now you're getting deprived of what boxing could be which is a part of the reason why I think the UFC is attractive because you have a, a meta, so to speak, of mixed martial arts that continues to grow. It continues to evolve. You don't know what the hell you're gonna get. Whereas with boxing, to be brutally honest, in certain sections of the game, it's regressed. In most sections of the game, it's regressed. You can look at fighters in the 90s and the 80s and the 70s that possess skill sets that far supersede those that we're seeing today for the most part that shouldn't even happen but it does but as long as people get to nitpick and, and choose who it is that they get to fight because it's a money fight because people care more about relatability of what a fighter looks like where they come from what their level of materialism is what they got around the neck what they drive as opposed to how they are as an athlete we get this shit. So for those of you that enjoy traditional sports, you know, how much do you really care about your favorite athletes' personal lives? How much do you guys really care about what they drive, what they wear, you know, what, what they got going on, what kind of women they're with? Like, how many of you really care about that as much as you care if they're actually going to perform during the season? What's more important to you? A guy being able to, 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 to go for about 30 points in a game or if they got a Bugatti or not. Now I'll tell you in boxing for some weird fucking reason, people care more about purse bids and what side of the street and other shit like that. Contract. Who's got the most money contracts, you know, who, who, who looks a certain way, where are you from? As opposed to who's the most skilled at the damn game. 